The HBR Savage has for many years been the best radio control basher that money could buy. Until the X-Max came along anyway. And it's still, to this day, in my opinion, the best internal combustion engine powered RC car that you can buy. The one that you can buy today comes with a nitro engine. This one, however, discontinued many years ago, comes with a petrol engine. I've been like a massive RC car fan ever since I was like three years old. The only trouble is back then I couldn't really afford any of these toys. So now with eBay and YouTube money I can make some of my dream RC cars become a reality. A lot of my dream RC cars you can no longer buy them so I'm kind of finding them on eBay, restoring them and getting them working again. This is a Thunder Tiger EK4. This one has a 70 size helicopter engine. Very troublesome, they go wrong a lot, but I'm going to try and get it running well. This is a Kyosho Inferno 30th anniversary. I built this, no expense spared. We will take it racing in the summer, and it's kind of based on the original Inferno, which I had up on the wall when I was a kid in my bedroom. Picture of it, not the real one. The Manta Ray was one of my dream RC cars, and was actually my first hobby grade RC car. This one's re-released. This one here is my original Manta Ray with a load of upgrades that I thought were upgrades when I was a kid anyway. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. This one here, the HBR Savage Octane. I've already done a video on it, but it did have some problems. We never got a proper run out of it. So in this video, we're going to try and get it running properly and take it out for a proper run. So the main problem was the engine kept cutting out and sometimes the spark plug sparked and sometimes it didn't. So I got a new ignition module from eBay. Also, a lot of you guys gave me some tips and apparently there's a flywheel sensor on the flywheel and you need to move it a bit closer. The radio system had loads of interference. It was glitchy. It was unresponsive. It felt like it's going to do a runaway at any time. Apparently, having the receiver too close to the ignition module causes it. So we've got to try and separate them a little bit. And for some reason, it started locking up a little bit. So we've got to see what's going on there too. I've also got a few upgrades, so more on that later. So I'm going to start off with by taking the wheels off to make it easier to work on and then take out the engine. Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake. Cause you and I will that one is an easier way. Strange transmission's freed up, clutch on the engine's free. That's one problem solved. So, here we can see the crank sensor. So, let's get this cover off and see what we're dealing with. Someone in the comments said about shaving a tiny little piece off of here to get it closer to the sensor. Okay. No rubbish. Beautiful. Boom! So next up, I'm going to replace the servos and put in a couple of these JX Eco Boosts. Next up, we can put the fuel tank and the engine back in. I want to relocate this ignition module. I'm going to try and relocate it. I was going to put it behind here, but there's not enough space. So the only place that I can really find is on top of here. And that can go around there. Throw that in there. So there we go. Kind of got it hooked up now. And if we pull this, we should see a spark. Yes. So this is the best way that I could find to route the wire. I don't know if it's going to be a bad idea in case it gets hot. I don't know. If anybody else has got any better ideas, let me know. But I've tried all different ways. That's the only way that I can find that it works. So one of my biggest hates with all savages are these stupid little wheel nuts. So these are supposed to be 17 mil hectares. And they're not really. These stupid little nuts, you can never get them on tight enough. And you forever have troubles with these hexes rounding off. Finally, after like 20 years, you can get an upgrade and put some proper hexes onto it. And luckily, the new Savage comes with them too. So if you look at these, they're actually 17 millimeters.
So here's the old system that HBI have been punishing us with for years. Here's the new system. I don't even know why they ever made it like this, because this looks more difficult to make than this. I wanted to keep it as original as possible, really. But when certain things annoy you and take fun away from the hobby, then you kind of have to upgrade it. So now, with the new servos, the new axles, and the new ignition box location, hopefully it's going to work properly. Right, let's get some fuel in there, start it up. If it all works, then we're going to take it out for a rip. So here, I'm hitting the primer pump, a little bit of choke. Hopefully, it's going to go. Choke off. Yes, it works. So now all we've got to do is get the wheels on there, we've got to do a quick repair on the body, and then we can take it out for a blast. And the best way that I've found to repair bodies is to put some drywall tape on there and then cover it in shoe goo. Here we go, ready to rip. Come out to meet you under the brightness. Here we are, on location. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Carburetor, quick pumpage. Didn't need any choke last time, it's quite warm. Sun's out. I'll give it a bit of choke. Oh, all right, choke off. Let the engine warm up a little bit, then try and tune it, get a bit more speed out of it. Oh. Oh. Switching up the bottom end a bit and lean off the top end a bit. Too lean out of top, it? We're gonna miss about with the tuning a little bit off cam and then put you back on when it's running properly. So we've got it all tuned up now. Hopefully, well, tuned as best as we can, it's gonna run all right with the body on. <laughs> oh, wonder body, dude. There you go. <laughs> a little bit warm but we'll let it cool down for a minute and then we'll carry on we'll give it a 10 minutes it does feel cooler it feels like the compression's going it's got oh 
Profession's not there anymore. Man, that was so much fun. That is, I've not had this much fun with an RC car in a long while. HBI, please make this car again, but make it reliable. It's going to be like, so much fun. Be like the ultimate. Done. Give it a go. If you guys want to see any more of this car, let me know in the comments. We'll strip it down, we'll have a look at it, we'll see if we can get it running properly. But definitely the most fun I've had in an RC car in a very long time. If that was reliable, that would be like the ultimate. So a lot of you guys have been saying that you want one of my RC cars. Well, now's your chance. I've set up a competition and up for grabs, I've got this Armour Vortex Boost with an upgraded Castle Mamba X system, stupidly fast. You've got one day left. If you want a chance to win it, I'm gonna put a link to that competition down below.